finally made it out here. It's actually stopped raining. Get to start off once again with my token bee. That's a small one. Yeah, this area I really don't look for them. If I actually find one, but well, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, I've got a point back, back over here a little ways. It was raining, so I put a stick by it. But I'll go retrieve it before it starts to rain again. Hopefully, I'll be back with uh, something else. Uh, here's this point that I came back to retrieve. Yeah, it's a little, little crude, but what the heck. Let's see, it's uh, Saturday, April 14th. Out here two days in a row. Uh, I found yesterday, I didn't find all that much. Uh, maybe I'll show them if I can get something going today. But this is a good way to get the party started. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's broken. Boy. That would have been a very nice knife. Well, there's a maybe down there. Looks like maybe the base is sticking out. Can't tell. Come on, baby. Yeah, didn't resist very much. Now you know what? It's actually pretty much there. A little stem point. I like that base. Probably look a little better when I clean it up. Alright. Yeah, there's a decent mono down there. I already disturbed it. Hopefully I'll be back. That looks like a big old tool or knife-like looking thing. Pretty big for around here. I guess you just call that a tool. That's nice. It's got a lot of patina on it. I mean, look better when I wash it up. Yeah, this looks kind of bizarre. Huh. It's hard stone. I think it's a geo fact. Uh, there's just virtually no rock out here. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like I've got one down there. There. Not a bad little point. Sitting right on top. Yeah, it looks like something down here. I almost want to say there's a subtle groove around there. Right in there, grooved net weight. Here's a quick little follow-up from uh, the first day I was out there, Friday the 13th. Didn't uh, didn't do too good. Got soaking wet. A thunderstorm came over and just boy pounded me with hail and rain. And now I went back to an area where I find the the, the older stuff, and yeah, it's pretty much gone. But I figured on a wet, cloudy day, you can kind of see through the grass. But anyways, the, the best thing that I found was probably this. And unfortunately, it's snapped. Yeah, these are uh, it's, a, it's a silver lake, which is considered a paleo point. Over the years, I found quite a few of them that are snapped just like that. Anyways, yeah, I don't know how well this is going to show up looking through a glass case. Those are uh, there's a couple of silver lakes down there. That one right there is really nice. There's one in there. Anyways, they're uh, they're fun to find when you can get one hole. Yeah, here's what I found yesterday. A little more productive. Got a good variety of stuff. It's a really big tool for out here. 
unfortunately there's a uh, in the area that I was looking at a lot of the stuff ends up with this ugly patina on it that just you know I don't know if I could get it off of there but I've never tried but it's a nice tool some parts that would have been a nice knife and then my two little field grade points but hey as long as I got a couple of them this one has an interesting base on it yeah once again there's that same patina that, get on, that gets on the points too can't get it off and this was probably the find of the day it's a uh, what I said out there a groove net weight it's this there's some that are more pronounced but the, the groove is right there and it just it follows it around it's a little harder to see on this side because once again that patina is on it but I've shown you these before I'll grab a couple of them and show you some better examples and this thing boy I don't know what to think about it very unusual and my best guess is it's it's some type of a atlatl spur snakehead and I mean I don't have anything you know identical to it I mean obviously they didn't uh, these things didn't have a patent mark on them so I guess there's variations of them yeah here's some uh, other atlatl spurs that I pulled out and there's the one that I, that I think has probably more than likely one and here's some other ones found over the years So that's my best guess. Oh, I made a, uh, I don't know if you, I know, I mean, if you want to see a, a better explanation of them, I made a video pretty early on, and I think it's called Atlatl Spurs. It's way down there on the list. So if you want to see it, check it out. Yeah, here's some other uh, of these groove net weights that I found over the years. That's a decent one, the groove right in there. One made out of quartz. They're always kind of egg shaped. And here's here's the creme de la creme. The the groove is really pronounced on that one. Actually found this one in the same uh, same field that I found the one yesterday. Anyways, uh, yeah. Once again, I've got a uh, another video pretty early on on uh, on net weights. Uh, there's a uh, there's a grooved variety and there's a drilled one and those things are they're a real treat when you can find one of those but uh, really hard to find anyways I guess all in all that's probably the best thing that I found in the two days it probably doesn't look like much to a lot of you guys thinking hey it looks like a rock to me but anyways so uh, thanks for watching and uh, and I'll be back